I'm going to show you a change being made without creating a change set so you can contrast that with what we just did. Uh, we're back to Marco's dashboard and Bob's dashboard here. And we're going to start a new piece of work. We're back in Marco's world. Go to the release plan. And he's going to say, hey, let's do this update dashboard. Again, Bob is his favorite person to assign it to. So Bob's now got update sensor package, whatever that is. So as Bob, if I wait for a minute or do an immediate refresh, I now have this update dashboard display. What's that? Well, let's open and see what we got. New work item. This says replace the analog dashboard with an LT LCD dashboard. Okay. Bob has determined that this is simple enough that he's not going to create a change set for it. Now notice he's on the stream and he's just going to go down and say this dashboard needs a major upgrade. He's going to make a change. Now this is typical DNG if you've been using it. I'm making a change. It's locked while I'm making it in whatever environment I'm in. I'm locked on the stream. The dashboard shall have a LCD display for all sensors. Uh, Marco made that change. Click Save. That was done in the context of the stream. Bob made that. Let's switch back to Marco. Close my release plans. Go to my dashboard. Now I'm in Marco's world. I'm going to go look at the tractor specification. And notice that is there immediately. That was a change made while I was in the context of the stream, as opposed to creating a change set and doing my changes off on a change set, getting them approved and then delivering. If you make a change in the context of the stream, that is immediately visible to everybody else on that stream. And I didn't even have an opportunity to review it prior to putting it on the stream. There are times when you are doing rapid development of requirements, you don't want to create a separate change set for each. Everybody's throwing a bunch of requirements onto the stream, and you'll do formal review processes after a whole bunch have been tossed on there. This would be appropriate. It's certainly quicker for users, just making. But let's take a look at history here. I'm going to open history again. I'm going to go to audit history. That change was recorded with an automatic change set called someone edited artifact 110. If I went back in and made another change in the context of the stream, there would be another change set saying edited artifact 110. This is not a good idea if you are in the mode where you're making changes that you may want to deliver to other streams. The changes you make automatically create a change set when you're sitting on the stream, but they are not named to be anything useful, just what was the artifact. And every time you edit a piece of it, I added the content. If I then went and changed some of the attributes, came back, those would all show up as change sets called Edit Artifact 110, with no idea of what changes I made in each. And that's going to be important. Let's switch back to Worker B Bob. All right? He made this change. He didn't give anybody a chance to review it. He just plopped it on there. Uh, but if Marco tasks him with delivering the upgrade package to another stream, uh, Bob is going to start from this stream here, and he's going to say, I want to deliver changes. And if he goes from modern to classic, saying, I want to deliver changes to classic, I'm going to do a custom and I want to choose my change sets. And here's the list of change sets on the stream. 
Now notice edit artifact 110. Sometime in the past we did that, edit artifact 110. You wouldn't want to be looking at those trying to find subsets of things to deliver. You want them in nicely named change sets that have gathered things that are meaningful. If this is all Bob wants to move to the classic tractor is the upgrade of the sensors, he can choose just that change set and say, let's deliver only those changes. So again, if you are Making changes that you are going to want to deliver some of to another stream, you want to particularly make change sets with good names, gather changes in that that should be all or none, an atomic deliver, everything I need for this particular name change set. It should be tied to a work item that described what you were doing. Um, we're now sitting on our, our modern stream here. If I switch back to Marco, go to his home. Let's go to tractor specification. Notice Marco's still back on modern. Let him switch to classic. Say okay. And what has been delivered to classic is the digital digital, but notice that whole new uh, upgrade the LCD panel, that's not here. That's back on the modern stream where you did it. You haven't decided yet that that should be part of your classic tractor.